Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is 3D Mesh Tutorials. I go at Root Rudy Tutorials and I'm in Copper Cube. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can pick up items. You can sell that items and you can make money out of it. Okay. So um, I'm gonna just create a ground. I'm just gonna use the default items in Copper Cube because we don't need we don't need any 3D models. So in this video I'm gonna show you guys how you can pick up items, you can um, sell it at the store and then get money out of it, okay, um, that this is gonna be a very nice system especially if you want to create a survival game, um, picking up um, food, you know, to replenish uh, your, your health or to um, f if, you, if you like pick up water and stuff like that. So this cube, I'm gonna use this cube as the shop. Okay, I'm gonna leave it center of this uh, plane, of the terrain. Um, we're gonna need some GUIs also, billboards and a camera obviously for the character. I'm not gonna do about much talking in this video guys. It's a very, very simple. You just need to follow these steps. Um, here and there I'm gonna explain what I'm doing, but most of this, uh, tutorial video it's it's a it's a really simple guys this is you can use a 3d objects but i'm gonna use GUIs. i'm gonna show you in the next video how i uh, use 3d objects like um twigs and stuff picking up wood to make a fire and um also the food for your health and stuff like that okay but in this tutorial i'm just gonna show you how to prepare your system so that you can pick up items, you can sell that items at the shop, a store, and then you can also um, get money for it. Okay, so that you can buy some equipment or whatever you need in your, your game in the level. Okay, there's the character. That is the, the camera. I'm gonna use a 2D camera. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna use a 3D camera. Third person camera, I'm gonna use a FPS camera. Okay, first person camera. Sorry, I said a 2D camera. Okay. Um, I'm gonna... There's gonna be a follow-up on this tutorial, guys. Like I said, I just want to show you the simple uh, um, um, system how to create a pickup system where you can sell the items that you pick up. Okay. And also uh, get money out of it. And um, in the same sense, you can use the shop as an inventory where you can store stuff. Okay, because you can buy and sell. So obviously, you can use it as a store uh, uh, inventory. But I'm going to make an inventory separately uh, at the end of this video. Okay, so you need to subscribe to my channel if it's your first time here. So you can uh, uh, get some notifications by ringing that notification bell icon when I upload the next part of this video okay it's gonna be some part series of this video so you need to subscribe to my channel like I said it's a very simple video a very simple tutorial uh, there's not much to do but it's all about variables okay so I've been playing around with the variables it's quite easy guys if you get to know the variables how to use it and then you can you'll be able to build a lot of systems in your game you know then your game won't be so uh, so dull but anyway as you can see there's the character you have a, a character that you can walk around you can jump and all of that awesome stuff okay but um, so we're gonna go into the mechanics of this tutorial now right I'm going to clone this this uh, billboard but let's first rename it Okay, I'm gonna make one GUI, use one GUI, and I'm going to duplicate that GUI. That is going to be the wood. Okay, I'm going to pick up some tweaks. That's why I said I'm gonna show you guys how you can use this system to create a fire. Okay, a fire, a bonfire where you can stand it and the fire will go out after a few minutes or so. And then you have to 
throw wood on again that's why you're gonna need a store where you buy wood and stuff like that and where you can also sell it to buy an axe or a spade or whatever you use in your survival game or whatever horror game you're going to create but this is going to that goo is going to be the wood okay um, before we do anything let me just set up the camera this gooey needs some, we need some stuff on this gooey, there's some items we need to, behaviors we need to apply to this gooey. Okay, the first one is going to be, um, when clicked on, okay, let's use proximity, I'm gonna show you guys something why I'm not gonna use proximity, okay, I'm gonna use the box, not the spear, as a trigger, lift it up, I'm gonna delete it again, I'm gonna use the click on event okay a click behavior when clicked on but let me just show you something when enter let's choose the action variable change to the text I'm gonna change the 2d we need a 2d text in this uh, in this world in the scene especially when we're going to use the variables variables need to um, Okay, wait, let me just put the GUI there in the left hand bottom, uh, top side, left top, top left, okay, my name is uh, 3D Mesh Tutorials, I call it Rude Rudy Tutorials, um, I'm showing you guys how you can create a nice system where you pick up items, you take it to the store, you sell it at the store, and you get money for that item so you can buy more stuff okay so this is the part where you put in your this is the script this is going to be the variable that is going to be called out is going to be wood colon space dollar sign wood dollar sign just write it it's just the way i do there you can use any variables depending on what you use in your 3d world in your scene okay i'm gonna use wood water rocks and stuff like that okay so i'm just gonna start off with the basics let me just take away the skybox because the text color is white and i can't see the text properly i'm also going to enlarge it scale it up a bit okay the font it's quite small there you go Alright, let's see, have a look, okay, it's not bad, it's not bad at all. We don't need to put behaviors on the 2D overlay, there's no need to put behaviors there, okay. If you want to, you can, If cl when clicked on, but... I don't have any action I want on that 2D overlay, so I'm gonna leave it as such. Just choose the overlay that you want to change in your world. Okay, it's gonna be wood, colon, space, not, wait, sorry, let me delete that, this colon, space, dollar sign, wood lowercase dollar sign okay All right there's more stuff we need to do as you can see it's not working nothing's happening we need to go to the new scene on top All right right at the bot at the top we're gonna go to new scene wait let me rename this to level one Okay, go to settings, if you want to rename your scene, you go to settings and you can, there's a dialog box that will pop up and you just rename your, your scene, I'm gonna rename it to level 1, okay. So while we are here, I'm in the hierarchy, behaviors, and I'm gonna put before first draw do something, okay, and I'm gonna put the action and it's gonna be variable and text, set or change a variable, okay. And um, the first one is going to be set equal value zero and I'm gonna say wood. 
that is the variable the variable name you you put on your 2d overlay okay it needs to be the same right nothing happens there's still some there's still some things we need to do okay let me go back to the hierarchy text overlay no this did at the scene level level one scene um it's all right i think it's done there we need to go to the 2d overlay okay here we need to put an action guys when clicked on no every few seconds do something okay there you go now we set variable set change it to the overlay text and this is where you put enter the text wood colon space sorry for that space dollar sign lowercase wood dollar sign okay there you go now it's supposed to work properly let's just select the to the overlay press ok let's have a look if everything is working properly there you go see wood ok now the next thing we need to do let me just copy this let me make it a, a capital letters ok this is where you can change your your your, your UI text on your screen okay if you want the capital letters or change the color there you go i want capital letters wood i don't like the font i'm gonna change it out i'm gonna use impact the font impact I'm gonna stay on bold let's stay on bold yes um, let's look for impact it's a default font on the on your windows machine okay there you go i'm gonna use this that's much better let's have a look okay i'm gonna use that font guys um the next thing we must do is i'm gonna go back to the gui there you go i like that let's go back to the GUI like I said I'm gonna delete I'm gonna take away this behavior um, let me let delete that's also the, I don't need the sticks here let's delete on proximity do something I want to click this item because it's a pickup I'm gonna use it as a pickup pick up a stick sticks okay remove and i'm gonna add a behavior let's add a different behavior every few seconds do something um oh man again why oh, oh. I'm going to remove this on proximity um, I would like to click this item I'm going to remove this on proximity because I would like to click on this item like I said it's going to be a tweak like wood to create a fire okay when clicked on do something I'm gonna go to variables if a variable set change a variable it's wood 
and I'm gonna add one and I'm going to delete the GUI okay it's going to delete as soon as I click on it I'm gonna get a point cling, and it deletes okay now it's gone from the scene so you won't be able to click it again you already got your one piece of wood and that's that okay so that system is good so the next thing we need to do I'm gonna clone this wood for you guys so you guys can see that um, I want 10 I want 10 pieces of wood okay um, what the freak happened now I want 10 pieces of wood and I'm going to delete that one okay so let me just scatter them around randomly okay this is going to be a very long video guys I'm gonna try to keep it short but um, most of the things I'm showing you here is very valuable it's useful and um, I don't think I will be able to create multiple videos out of this one episode so if you want to you can just pause the video and come back and watch it again okay but don't skip this video guys everything I show you here is valuable um, you're going to need to use this in your system everything I do here you're going to need otherwise it's going to be bonkers believe me if you don't use the variables right you don't name them right like they must correspond towards each other it's not gonna use not gonna it's not gonna be no use you're gonna waste your time i promise you okay so just follow these steps and you'll be good to go watch this video to the end um okay i'm gonna change out this overlay so i don't get confused in the hierarchy that is going to be the wood overlay okay um right we have all the wood let's get it around that is going to be the shop um, I don't think I'm going to click on that wait let me just create the shop overlay I duplicate the, the wood overlay rename it to shop overlay um, let me just lower it right that's nice okay let's move it a little bit to the right that's good let's have another look um, <coughs> so we're going to remove this let's just stay, change it out we don't have to remove it let's just change this to shop okay I put capital letters so that in the scene it looks nice and big visible okay we're going to change that also to shop lowercase enter let's have a look now we're not done yet here we go, we need to change this also the hierarchy attributes shop lowercase between the dollar signs no, it's not, it needs to be a lowercase s sorry for that ok that's good um, <coughs> another thing we need to go to the world and we need to call out that variable in the world every before every draw do something and I'm gonna put set change a variable and I'm gonna set it to zero as soon as the game starts the scene opens it's going the text is going to show shop 
it's empty, it's on zero. Um, I forgot something. Also on reload. I need to go to the text overlay, shop text overlay. I'm gonna put it on 15. Okay, so that if there is at least something in the shop that you can buy. 15 wood. I'll leave it on zero for now. Okay. Um, the interval is going to be every 10 seconds. Millisecond. So that's a minute. Yeah, that would be a minute, millisecond. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the overlay and I'm going to change this. Oh, no, that's right. Yeah, we need to change this text here. This is the UI text on your screen. Whatever you put right here is going to show on the screen. Okay. There you go. I would like it to be capital letters. You don't need to change that. Yeah, it's good. That works. It works for me. Just need to shift it around a bit. Okay, that's nice. So we have the shop. UI. Okay. Gonna clone that one. And I'm going to create the money. We need cash. Okay. Because selling stuff. Where's the, where's the money going to? We need a money UI to show how many money you have in the bank okay in your pocket you can create a bank if you want to with the same system you can just add and go along you can put, take your money from your, your wallet and put it in a bank you know save it but you don't need to do that in this game okay so it's money We are busy with the money, 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 money. Let's just change all the sticks to money. Lowercase money. Okay, we need to go to the level one, to the, the world space. Every few seconds do something before the first draw do something. Variable set or change a variable. It's going to be money. And the value I'm gonna leave it at zero. Okay, not zero. That's good. Now have a look. Let's have a look. move it a bit and have a look there you go there's your money right so none of these text UIs are active at the moment we need to put some actions on them and that is what we're going to do right now okay guys this is where the headache is gonna come in okay this is where the whole system is gonna start I'm gonna start building the system so you need to watch carefully okay let's change this UI to money like I said we need to keep the hierarchy nice and neat clean so that we don't get confused and save the save your project guys before you do anything else save the project copper cube never crashed but you know things happen don't want to lose all your progress okay so that is your UI for now you have your wood that you're going to pick up you have the shop your store and then you have your money your wallet okay so the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna use two GUIs I'm not gonna click on this cube this cube is just representing the building of the the store the shop uh, I'm gonna use two GUIs for buy and for selling okay so from here on guys I'm gonna love and leave you um, just follow these easy steps 
and um, I'm gonna see you at the end of this video and like I said if it's your first time here please subscribe to my channel I create 3d games 2d games uh, projects I help you guys with whatever you want to in creating games I'm a game developer um, I also create my own models 3d models okay so there's a bunch of tutorial videos you can watch on this channel there you see I pick it up there I have 10 wood okay now I move around now I must sell that wood okay sell it or use it for whatever but in this tutorial I'm going to sell the wood okay the next tutorial I'm gonna create the fire we're gonna create a fire with the wood so when the wood is finished we need to go out and look for more wood okay so that the fire can keep burning this is the two gooeys I told you guys about earlier I'm gonna use the gooeys as buy and sell uh, buttons so that we can sell and buy the wood okay or whatever items you have in your scene or in your game right so I'll see you at the end of this video guys please smack that like button if this video was helpful so far subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet my name is 3 Mr. Tutorials I go with Rudy, Rudy Tutorials and I'll see you at the end of this video
Thank you for watching this video guys, my name is 3D Mr. Tutorials. like I said smack that like button if you like this video if it was helpful, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. This video I showed you how to create a system that you can pick up items, you can go to a shop, you can sell the items and get money for that item so you can buy more items in your, uh, in your game, in your scene or whatever you're creating, horror game, survival game, this is going to be a survival game, I'm gonna add mob items in this, uh, um, in the scene, the next video I'm gonna show you how I use this wood for fire and the uh, wood is going to like, you know, it's gonna go finished, there's no more wood and you need to go look for more wood so the fire can keep burning so if you want to watch that tutorial video you need to uh, ring that notification bell icon so I can notify you whenever I upload that video ok guys thank you for watching this video my name is 3 Tutorials at Root Rudy Tutorials see you in the next one